fun. Hey everyone, it's Joy Taylor, proud promoter of Purium, founder of Choose Pure Health, and super excited because I get to work with such great people, and I get to learn from amazing people, and I'm here today with Heather Salmon, who's been a teacher, a mentor, a friend, a co-facilitator with me on the journey to health and the journey to self-love. So hi, Heather. Hi, Joy. Aloha. I know. There you are in shiny Maui. There's so much I want to say about you so people understand who we're talking to today. Um, you are a sound healer. You are a hypnotherapist. You are a nutritional enthusiast, coach, mentor, and you have a retreat center in Maui, and you walk people through cleanses with Purium. That's right. That's right. We offer um, sound healing, yoga, and wellness retreats with um, excurs exotic excursions. So if, whether you want to go out hanging out with the whales on the ocean or to the Haleakala Crater or to some sort of combination, we bring you to amazing places on Maui. And um, while engaging in either a lifestyle um, kind of lifestyle practice or a actual cleanse, a full on cleanse. So. Let's start there. Cause I know I want to talk about the Purium program. And I also want to talk about the emotions that come up during that and how, you know, it's important to love ourselves and, and work with that because it's a big component, but maybe we'll just start with um, something that a lot of people ask themselves. So when they decide to do a 10 day transformation, they have the choice between the cleanse and the lifestyle. Right. Can you help us distinguish when someone should cleanse, when someone wants to do the lifestyle? Well, I think it depends on what's going on in your life at that moment. You know, it's really important to honor yourself and honor where you are. And like we have clients coming in just before Christmas for 10 days. And um, I kind of moved them into doing more of a lifestyle um, a lifestyle practice. So we'll do, you know, a shake a day. We'll do, um, we'll do a lot of superfoods and then we'll eat a light lunch and, you know, Christmas and who knows what's going to happen. So um, um, I kind of guided them into more of a lifestyle cleanse because I think that gives you more flexibility, but plus the discipline, like you're ingraining the discipline of um, getting that, that shake in you once a day. And then the, the real cleanse is for someone who wants to take more time, who has more time to carve out and to really dive in and uh, focus on doing a deeper transformation. I really enjoy doing cleanses around the solstices and equinoxes, which is a really, it's time the seasons change, um, which is really important. And also around the time of your birthday is a great time to cleanse. And, um, and you know, when you're doing a deeper cleanse, you might not have as much energy so um, guiding people when they're with us, you know, on a transformation full on cleanse, got to moderate how much energy they're going to have and how much activity they want to do. So there's a balance there in knowing that people can go through a little bit of emotional processing. You know, we're doing the stand, the Joy and I always um, share about the lifestyle uh, practices for deeper transformation. So some of those lifestyle practices, like a yoga and sound healing class every day, or a body treatment, you know, a couple of times a week, that can move you forward in a big way. So um, yeah, it depends on what's going on with them and what time of year it is and where you're going to be and just honoring that. Yeah, I love what you say about mm -hmm. honoring that. And, and so, you know, when someone is no matter what, getting on the Purian products and cutting out processed foods with the lifestyle or the cleanse, that can be a big step for people. Because right. a lot of people, a lot of us are just addicted to whatever it is, the fast food, the processed food, the coffee, the alcohol, the, I mean, I, I've worked with people who are stopping and, you know, going to McDonald's on their way to work or getting a lot of Starbucks. So it becomes a habit. And then all of a sudden, for 10 days, we're challenging ourselves to stop that habit. Right, so, right. You know, that's going to bring up some frustration. I know it has for me, right? I get frustrated. Mm -hmm. I hit a wall. 
Um, how, do, how do you recommend people really move through those emotional ups and downs that come up during the transformation? Well, to recognize that they do happen, number one, <laughs> be aware that you might uh, be hitting an emotional wall at some point during this process. And so if you're aware of it and then you're feeling it, then that's kind of half the battle, so to speak. You can give yourself, um, there's some processes you can do. You can go for a walk, you know, like you and I suggest a lot of different things that people can do when faced with that, um, you know, emotional clearing, writing, um, uh, getting massaged, having a sauna, um, connecting with the earth. All these things are really important to help you keep moving through it. And when people come see us, we're like in the middle of the jungle. So already they're out of their normal routine <laughs> and they're like on our, our food practices. So, or, you know, our, our diet. So it takes them out. So it can often be easier when you when you take yourself out and uh, put yourself in a different location. Um, and just uh, allow yourself to move through those spiritual gardening, that's what I call it, to, to, to allow that stuff to come up. Because when it's coming up, that means it's coming up for recognition and healing and clearing. Oh, that's a really important thing you just say right then. So you become aware of it, then you recognize it's coming up to be cleared. Uh -huh. Who you are. And then what I heard you say is find an alternative. So, you know, the easy thing is to grab the blue corn chips, right? Right. But, but we could go for a walk instead. Yeah. There's other treats. Yeah, or reach for other treats. Like even, you know, a, a, some frozen fruit is kind of a yummy treat. Get a bag of frozen fruit. Uh, and that's kind of, if, if you like, like dessert kind of things, mm -hmm. you know, some frozen raspberries or strawberries or blueberries or something, just munch on those and you'll find alternative flex foods that are really yummy and healthy. And like uh, last time I did the transformation, I, I turned myself on to, or my partner turned me on to getting some miso and putting it on nori and wrapping cu cucumber around it. Beautiful. And that was amazing. So, you know, on our, on our Purium lifestyle group, we have all kinds of ideas and inspirations and people have been posting. So um, trying to listen for you know, what kind of other flex foods and what can you do with the flex foods to make them tasty. And I guarantee you'll find something that you'd be like, hmm, this is actually pretty yummy and I can probably eat this every day. <laughs> I like, yeah, being really creative. I like this. Being yeah. creative within the limits of the new boundary and having those. Okay, one last question as a tip to help people. Uh -huh. um, so what do you recommend people do if they fall off the wagon? Like let's say <sighs> they have a glass of wine on day five. What do they do? What do you think is the best option? You know, for, first of all is you know, you and I were talking about self-love. So we need to stop beating ourselves up <laughs> in general. You know, we're so hard on ourselves in this modern world and we're comparing and competing. And I think that the last thing you need to do is really beat yourself up if you fall off the proverbial wagon and you take that some time for more self-care. So even if you if you totally go off the, the diet, then what is something that you learned through the pro process that you've embraced or engaged? And can you acknowledge yourself for that? And can you continue on with that practice? You know, little by little, it'll all come together. So if you can just take one thing from each time you do the cleanse and then um, incorporate that into your into your daily practices, even tongue scraping or breathing or, you know, the self-love, breathing into the heart and really what are you grateful for? Now that gratitude practice and fill yourself up because no one's going to, from a place of depletion and beating yourself up, that's kind of counterproductive to the whole thing. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. I love that. The internal compassion and and then um, wake up the next day and keep going, right? Yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. You might even feel stronger, better, faster the next day, more, more determined. So.
Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of people that really are 100%. You know, there are those that go through the transformation lifestyle or the cleanse and they're 100%. But, you know, it's bound to happen that we might slip or slide. So how right. about self-love? So important. Yeah, yeah. Self-love and self-appreciation, no matter what you're eating or when you're eating it, you know, the self-loathing while we're eating is not helpful to ourselves and our vitality and our well-being. So if you can stay on the you know side of of you know i even though i i love the tapping even though i drank a glass of wine i love and accept myself i love and accept myself I, you know even though i am not perfect i love and accept myself try incorporating that instead of even though i had a glass of wine i'm so bad and da 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 da, da. how about i even though I'm not perfect, I love and accept myself. Right. And that self-love and acceptance and that practice, I like to share the practice of the mirror, looking into a mirror every day and telling yourself you love yourself and, and saying something, noticing what you appreciate yourself about yourself that day in that moment and start building that muscle because that beyond anything is gonna increase your vitality, boost your immune system, and make you stronger, more vital, and happier. And that's what it's all about. That is, that's what it's all about. <laughs> that's what we're looking for. Wow, beautiful. Yeah, and just remember, it's a transformation program, right? So yeah. we're transforming into more of that, more health. And there's plenty of time. The 10 days is awesome, but mm -hmm. it's a lifestyle program. Right. It's a lifestyle transformation and just moving off of uh, GMO and processed foods is a huge transformation for most people in America. So just acknowledge yourself for even, you know, substituting one meal with a power drink is um, flushing your body with amazing, amazing nutrients. And uh, so it's doing wonders. <laughs> And, and on the end of the 10 days with the clients you work with, what do you find for most of them? You know, what's, do they, does their life change? Do they start eating healthier? You know, yeah. Happen? I think people go, you know, that people um, start recognizing things that they can do to incorporate in their lifestyles to uh, take better care of themselves in general. You know, reach for more fruit and vegetables. Reach, have, a, have a smoothie a day. Um, just even it's like little by little we're we're upgrading our diets we're upgrading and everyone has room to move and prove even me you know I have my ups and downs and all over the place and sometimes but I'm generally on the upswing and it's so great to do the transformation and hear about everybody else's because it inspires you and it reminds you of maybe those things that you like to do for yourself or you can do for yourself that are inexpensive, easy to do, and very, uh, very powerful. Nice. <laughs> oh, well, I love hanging out with you, Heather, even though we have to do it on a computer. I'm coming <laughs> this way. I want to visit you. <laughs> All right. Your cabin awaits you. All right. Can't wait. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. That's really helpful. Okay, thank you, Joy. All right, thank you, everyone. everyone. Aloha.